It's March 4th, 2018, and this is your scripture reading and devotional for today. The scripture reading is Leviticus 21 through 22, Luke 22, 1 through 38, Psalm 31, 16 to 24, and Proverbs 6, 16 and 17. The devotional today is another clip from the lesson, Caught in the Chords, from Proverbs 5, 21 to 23. And sometimes we're caught in the cords because we forget humility. It's amazing when you look through uh, Proverbs especially, but, but the whole Bible, about the connection between pride and sin. And, and how pride uh, can make it essentially impossible for someone to repent of their sins, for someone to escape the bondage of their sin because they are too prideful to acknowledge that they are in sin. Wasn't that the problem with the Pharisees and the Sadducees of Jesus' day? That when Jesus would point out things that were, that were wrong, that rather than having the humility to respond in, in, in uh, a positive way to that correction, they were haughty and prideful and sought to destroy Jesus because he was pointing out what was wrong with them. You look over at uh, Jeremiah 13 and verse 23, and Jeremiah makes a really interesting statement there. Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 23, Jeremiah is talking to the uh, children of Israel, uh, actually during the captivity, and why... Uh, Jerusalem and, and Judah was going through the, the uh, uh, invasions that they were experiencing and being taken away into captivity. And he says there in verse 23, Can an Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may you also do good who are accustomed, and there's the key word, who are accustomed to do evil. And, and, and the, 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 the idea there is that just as impossible it is for you to change your skin color, or just as impossible as it is for a leopard to change his spots, it's just so impossible for someone who is accustomed to evil to do good. And so, you know, you might look at that and say, well then, does that mean that there are people who just can't repent, can't change, can't, can't be forgiven? And that's the, the, the idea that uh, Calvinists believe is that there's only some that God has chosen to be saved and, and that's the only ones that can be saved and no one else has the possibility of salvation. But that's not at all what Jeremiah is talking about there. He's talking about the ones who were going away into captivity because of their in iniquity. And why was it? Because they wouldn't change. Because for them to, to, to change, uh, it was as, as though. It was like trying to change their skin color or trying to change a leopard's spots. And if you look back in that, in that same passage, you see why it was so seemingly impossible for them to change their ways. He says in verse 15, Jeremiah 13 and verse 15, Hear and give ear. Do not be proud. Why was it so impossible for them to change their ways? Because they weren't accustomed to do good. They were prideful. Do not be proud. For the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God before he causes darkness and before your feet stumble on the dark mountains. And while you are looking for light, he turns it into the shadow of death and makes it dense darkness. But if you will not hear it, my soul will weep, Jeremiah says, in secret for your pride. Why, why was it so hard for them to change? Why was it so hard for them to repent 
and to, to escape the cords of their iniquity because they were too prideful to see the cords. He goes on and he says, My eyes will weep bitterly and run down with tears because the Lord's flock has been taken captive. Say to the king and to the queen mother, humble yourselves. Notice the the emphasis over and over again on pride and the necessity for humility. Humble yourselves, sit down, for your rule shall collapse. The crown of your glory, the cities of the south, shall be shut up, and no one shall open them. Judah shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly carried away captive. Lift up your eyes and see those who come from the north, where the flock that was given to you, your beautiful sheep, What will you say when he punishes you? For you have taught them to be chieftains, to be head over you. Will not pangs seize you like a woman in labor? And if you say in your heart, why have these things come upon me? For the greatness of your iniquity, your skirts have been uncovered, your heels made bare. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard its spots? Then may you also do good who are accustomed to do evil. Why was it so hard for them to repent, for them to change? Even when Jeremiah was there in their midst preaching to them about the captivity and telling them what they had to do, what did they do to Jeremiah? They threw him in a pit and left him for dead. Cut cut the word that he wrote and burned it. And when he said to walk in the old paths, they said, no, we will not walk in the old paths. Why? Because of their pride. Pride will keep one caught in their cords, caught in the cords of their iniquity. Look over at Proverbs chapter 16. And verse 18, where the Proverbs writer says there again, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. What is the connection between pride and the destruction of iniquity? When someone is is prideful, when someone does not have the humble uh, uh, characteristic that is required to be a penitent person, to be a person in submission to God's will, that prideful person will think whatever he does is right. What, whatever way he goes, whatever decision he makes, it's the right one. There's no better way than his way. And so when someone comes and says, no, that's the wrong, you're going the wrong way. They say, who are you to tell me I'm going the wrong way? And they keep going the wrong way. And so pride will keep one caught in their cords. As the Proverbs writer says here in Proverbs 5, 21 and 22, it's because he's decided on his own way and he doesn't consider that God's watching. And it's because he wants things his own way, his own iniquities entrap the wicked man he's prideful and his pride is his destruction his pride is what keeps him caught in the cords and sometimes be sure to post your thoughts from today's reading in the comment section below